I just couldn't not do it. I had to do something. I couldn't just watch them all die. Afternoon all, hope you're all well. Just another instalment from the pumpkin patch. Um, we are going to be busy picking pumpkins today for orders for next week. They're coming, uh, getting busier and busier now, so that's good. Um, so just a bit more of an instalment about how we grow pumpkins and, and what we do to get them uh, get to this point. So this uh, we're at the end of the process now, but it started back in March when as part of growing them I helped muck out the cattle sheds and the muck was brought down here and piled up and then uh, muck spread with a tractor and a muck spreader over the field. Um, from that point onwards I wasn't involved up until the point where we started planting. The field was ploughed, uh, it was power harrowed with a machine that's got rotating blades that vertically that sort of uh, smashes up the soil. Um, and then it was ridged with a, a tractor with a, a, a machine on the back that puts it into big sort of ridges for the de-stoner to go in. So the de-stoner goes along and picks up all that soil that's been ridged into like a high sort of peak sort of shape um, and sorts the stone out and puts the stone in the, where the tractor wheels are and leaves the fine soil at the top and that's what we plant the pumpkins into. So. Um, that that was done and that, that that's the point where we come in with the transplanters and plant the pumpkins <laughs> One of the reasons we grow pumpkins is to help us sell the Swiperi machinery. So that's the machinery we import from Italy and sell to farmers throughout the UK. Um, it started in 2020 because of the pandemic. I didn't expect to be able to go out demonstrating uh, the weeders to customers. And so that's why we grew pumpkins and we've grown more and more uh, for the last two years. This year we used the growing the pumpkins is an opportunity to get the videos and pictures of the transplanters so we use two different transplanters to plant both transplants which are little plants with a ball of soil on the bottom the seeds been grown in a greenhouse in a tray with this ball of soil and we're taking those little plants out of that uh, tray and putting it in the ground using the transplanter we also use the transplanter to plant the seed which isn't what it's intended for, but it did do a very good job of. Um, previously, the first year, me and my girls planted a third of an acre by hand. Last year, I did an acre by myself by hand, and I was adamant I didn't want to do that again. It just it takes quite a long time, and it's just to get the plants spaced right in the field is, is not easy doing it by hand. Uh, 
this is the first year we've done transplants um, so we did not quite half and half transplants and seed um, I we bought the, the transplants from a farm down in West Yorkshire brought them up here and transplanted them through the spiperi transplanters into the field every year is different this year the, the soil conditions were spot on I thought we were too far north really to be growing pumpkins from seed which is why I was keen to try transplants just to see how much better they did. The seeds and the transplants went into the ground around the same time give or take a few days. The reason I thought we were too far north to be growing pumpkins from seed is because we're quite a bit cooler up here compared to further down south where a lot of more seed is put in the ground and because of that our window of opportunity for the pumpkins to grow and mature wasn't long enough um, but equally the transplants came with their own challenge in as much as we put them in the ground and as much there was moisture in the soil that the little plants were in in the trays and there was moisture in the soil they were put into the transplants didn't have any way of getting hold of that moisture because the roots ball, the roots of the little little plant were still in the soil. So they didn't look that fit to start with. They sort of put them in the ground and they, they went backwards quite quickly and started looking pretty ill. There was no rain on the horizon and I sort of panicked. So I went and got a tanker and one Friday night I put a couple of those of water on onto the transplants just to sort of keep them keep them alive and it might not have made a difference but I just couldn't not do it I had to do something I couldn't just watch them all die so I went and got a tractor and tanker and spread a few loads it did then rain afterwards and they did get going and in the drone footage you can see that the transplants were quite a long way ahead of the of the seed the transplants were put in the middle field and the seed was either side that way you could sort of see it was the definite difference the interesting thing was at the end there was i couldn't tell at the end where the seed started and stopped and where the transplant started and stopped the whole field just looked the same and even to the point where when we were weeding the field it looked like there was quite a lot of gaps quite a lot of spaces quite a lot of misses quite a lot of seed that didn't germinate but you look at the drone footage when we've come to the end of it and there's not necessarily a definite difference between how the pumpkins have appeared in the field it's not like there was a load in one side or there's a more far more where the transplants were they were quite evenly spread so it's um quite interesting how although the transplants were ahead when they went in the ground the seed caught up and effectively ended up pretty much in the same place 